Hello everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, just in the graveyard around the back of where we live and uh, trying to get some balance into life with a bit of peace and quiet on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, reminded this is sort of a theme of the week really, um, because uh, for the first time we're still on a protest march, really, uh, which was about getting some light into the darkness of trafficking and slavery and the March for Freedom. Uh, so good to see that going on and uh, it reminded me that, that we may ourselves meet trafficked victims around here so it's good to know what we need to do so I'm going to get some information about that for us. Um, but also met yesterday a lady called June which is also a reminder that um, sometimes you don't know what the impact of something that you do can have in the future. So June came along to the Bournemouth conversation two years ago, uh, a lady working uh, with her on uh, a child pro children's project at the university. She's now finishing her social work degree and she's really feeling a calling into child protection work, social work. Wow, that's a really tough area. So uh, we pray for June, but also it's just so encouraging that something that we did a couple of years ago has helped somebody to get to that point where they're going to be pushing back on some really dark areas uh, going into the future. It also reminded me of some of the things that you're doing to help on pushing back uh, the darkness in other lives. So uh, great to see Gail managing to find um, just at the right time a family under a lot of pressure and being able to find a Mother's Union holiday caravan available just at the right moment so that that family can have a bit of break, a bit of respite. And indeed in, in, uh, in Wimborne, Sharon was talking about the fact that some really kind soul has given £5,000 to be able to buy book vouchers that can be put into their Christmas parcels at the end of the year. A wonderful gift and another chance to really encourage people at, uh, at a difficult time of their lives. Um, it's a reminder all of us actually to try and keep that balance, you know, pushing back on. We can all have some dark times. It's a good reminder that though our values talk about listening uh, to our clients and to those we come across, it's also good to listen to each other. So uh, where we can uh, reach out, if you're finding, finding it a bit hard at the moment, give somebody a call or uh, just send them a text. Uh, we're in this together. And it's a reminder also too of some of that well-being stuff that we talked about. You know, the breathing, breathe in for four, hold for five, breathe out for six, really get some oxygen into our brains. And that idea of getting out into the daylight at lunchtime, just taking five and uh, it making a huge difference to our mood at this time of year. So do keep doing that stuff. And actually, please do keep doing the COVID stuff. Just a good reminder as we get into flu season, we don't want flu on top of COVID. So if you've got a chance to have a flu jab like the over 50, for the over 50s like me, um, please do get it. And just continue with the sanitizing and the uh, giving space and the uh, ventilating rooms and also taking those lateral flow tests. It's, it is so helpful to know that uh, we're, we're all covered. If you're not feeling so good, you've got a cold or something, do stay away because we don't want to add to the, add to the problems around, uh, around the offices and around the venues where we're working. So thank you for keeping on with that. We really appreciate your continued vigilance. And uh, a more, more encouraging thing to keep our re resilience up is thinking about a Christmas meal. So uh, what are we going to do this year? I'm going to put out a little questionnaire on VVox, just uh, at the end of the day, just you do it on your phone to give a few answers. Um, we want to sort of throw options, aren't there? We could go down the beach again. Uh, we could have sort of take over a church hall and maybe have some food in there or have a Kaylee. Uh, which would be quite fun, or go out to a restaurant, we could do something during the day, we could do something during the evening. So a few questions there for you, love to get your views on that, just a quick, a quick uh, tick box, multiple choice thing. If you can give us our, uh, your input, that would be great. So the balancing thing this week, how can we make sure that we uh, keep pushing back on the darkness in people's lives, but also keep ourselves going? Well, there's a really great verse in Proverbs that I came across this week in the message version. Listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who keep you on track. So I pray you're kept on track this week with all you're doing. Thanks so much. You are amazing. Take care.